In 1933, America was in the throes of the Great Depression. Unemployment and poverty reigned in America's cities. In response to this crisis, newly elected President Franklin Delano Roosevelt created the New Deal as a way for the government to assist Americans in dealing with their hardships. Many New Deal programs were created by FDR in the early 1930s. Most notably from an environmental perspective was the Civilian Conservation Corps. The CCC took young, uneducated, bored, and hungry young men and sent them out into the heart of America, where they undertook a staggering amount of capital improvement projects. They planted trees, fought erosion, built national park buildings, built roads, eradicated nuisance species, and much more. Just as importantly, the CCC program produced confident, strong, hardworking men, which would be critical to the upcoming war effort. One of the CCC's projects was the Chompawamsic backcountry area, later renamed the Prince William Forest National Park. Here, the CCC boys built structures, carved roads, created trails, and built dams to create swimming ponds. The park even served as a top-secret spy training facility during World War II. Prince William Forest National Park to this day welcomes families and visitors from all over the northern Virginia area, providing them with a remarkable forest experience. Each spring, Suffolk University's Center for Urban Ecology and Sustainability runs a course which studies the CCC and its impacts on the American landscape. This year, 12 Suffolk University students and two professors from the Q's department made the trek down to Northern Virginia to spend a week volunteering with National Park Rangers and getting the park ready for the upcoming season. Our pre-trip studies centered on learning about the prevailing environmental attitudes during this time. We studied John Muir and Gifford Pinchot and the great conservation versus preservation debate and the rise and the fall of the CCC, and we examine the tremendous impact that these men had on our country. While in Washington, the group was able to view some of the sites, including the Martin Luther King Memorial, the Korean War Memorial, the Lincoln Memorial, the World War II Memorial, and the Jefferson Memorial. We were also treated to a park ranger-led tour of the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Memorial and learned the history behind this remarkable leader. Once at the park, we settled into our group sleeping quarters, adjusted to the idea of using showers designed for small children, and got adjusted to cooking on a large scale. Our dining hall and many other structures in the park were actually built by the CCC. Our tasks for the week were varied. On the first day, we repaired many of the screens on the guest cabins. This involved painting, staple guns, and screwdrivers. Another day, we worked in cabin camp two and swept out all of the cabins and then constructed many bunk beds. Our favorite task of the week was rebuilding a damaged bridge on the High Meadows Trail led by Ranger Mike. Hauling the wood a half mile in and out of the woods was grueling, but many hands made for light work. Our least favorite, yet equally important task of the week was, well, picking up trash. Later in the week, we had the chance to visit the National Marine Corps Museum in nearby Quantico and were able to visit the Arlington National Cemetery. One of our main goals of the trip was to learn how park rangers educate the public. On a daily basis, their task is to educate visitors about the park and its environment. Their audience varies widely, and they typically have a short amount of time to deliver the information. Their insight into the day-to-day -day operations of a national park was incredibly valuable. Like the CCC boys in the 1930s, we worked a lot, learned a lot, well, and ate a lot. We also learned the value of volunteer work, how to function as a team, and we made some lifelong friendships. Being able to spend time in Prince William Forest Park has taught me about the meaning of teamwork and the importance of giving back to the things you value. Uh, this ASB trip is very interesting experience to me. I've made a lot of new friends and understand the history of CCC. This trip helped me understand the enormity of the CCC's work and the importance of the national park system. Talking to the rangers and learning about their jobs has made me want to someday work for the Department of Interior. The Alternative Spring Break program allowed me to give back to the community while making new friends and learning about the environment. I would recommend it to anyone introverted or extroverted because the trip really brings you closer to your peers and allows you to be yourself. This trip was one of my favorite things I've participated in the past four years at Suffolk. 
Our trip to Prince William Forest has helped me to see the value of the unseen contributions of volunteers. It has deepened my appreciation for the work done in the name of natural conservation by both park rangers and regular people, and even introduced me to a new group of friends. It was a valuable and enjoyable experience, one which I would gladly repeat. The alternative spring break in Prince William Forest Park was a very fun and unique experience. I would highly recommend this or any other alternative spring break to any student considering taking one in the future. My favorite part was getting out of the city, going into a national park and helping a community that is greater than myself. This trip was the best possible way to spend my last spring break at Suffolk. I learned so much about the work that rangers do behind the scenes to keep our beautiful parks running smoothly. Going to Virginia for five days with a group of people I didn't really know that well pushed me out of my comfort zone and resulted in me making 12 amazing new friends. Prince William Forest Park brought together unity and leaders that we all knew we were. During the trip, there was always a time full of laughter and togetherness. This ASB trip has definitely been special for me. It got me out of my comfort zone, being friends with others, helping out and camping. It was all new to me and I would do it again in a heartbeat. Even though we only spent five days immersed in the forest, I feel that everyone now understands the importance of volunteering, our national parks, and the harmony and solace that these quiet lands provide. The week we spent in Prince William Forest Park was one of the best weeks I've experienced in a long time. I love being out in the woods and meeting all the rangers that worked in the park. It was amazing to help clean up the park and get it ready for the summer season. I would highly recommend any ASB trip to anybody who is even a little bit interested.